Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last part, we, you know, got to the door and I was just as I was about to open it, I made the video stop. So we're just gonna pick it up right there. Alright, let's -a go. Uh, wait, that's Mario. Whatever. Let's see, what else can I say? Ooh, it's Ouija time! There we go, that's much better. Alright, let's get to it. Alright. Yes, this is, uh, the room of the- yes, this is the nursery. And as you can see, look, if you can see that correctly, you can see that that's pink. Now you're thinking, aw, wait a minute, this is a baby's room, right? Aw, what a cute baby girl then. Wrong! This is the room of a little baby boy. Yes, it's kind of weird. Honestly, I'm not one to gender profile, but don't you just think it's kind of weird? I mean, look, it's got flowers, it's got, like, it's got everything. Like, honestly, before you actually see the baby and find out, like, what its name is, or even read the bio that it has after you capture, you know, the next ghost... Like, you'd honestly, I, I honestly thought this was a girl like, who, that you had to fight at first, but it's not. And it's really weird, but whatever, it's made from Japan. As we all know, the Japanese like to do things just a little bit differently, but I'm not gonna get into that. And as you can see, yes, we just passed by the ghost and- Oh, more coins! Okay. Yes, if you want to be able to make, um, like, wake him up in order to, like, start the cutscene, you have to, like, rock the rocking horse a lot in order to make him, like, get upset, but before I do that, I just wanted to explain, you know how I knocked on this chest before, and I got the big heart? That will always be there, it'll always respawn, so if you ever need, like, a lot of health being recovered, I recommend coming back to this room if you don't have any of the other really, like, you know, big heart places unlocked yet. Alright, well, anyway, let's get on with this, and make him mad, and, whoa, a little overkill. And there we go. I don't know why that took so long. Okay. Hey, wanna play with me? Oh crap, yes, because he's he's a bad boy, so we need to punish him for throwing bears at us by launching balls at him. I launch my balls at you. Huh. <laughs> Ow, you gave me an owie! I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups! Why do you always have to be bigger than me? Uh, because I eat my uh, vegetables. I've had enough! Small, grow smaller, and I refuse to read that because I want to keep my sanity and my masculinity. Um, alright, yes, and as you can see, now we're inside his crib. And after seeing Luigi get frightened by a bunch of rocking horses going above his head, we are about to fight our first boss. This is Chauncey. And oh boy, is he one bad baby. Alright, let's go, Ouija. Alright, yes, uh, the first part of this battle is like a piece of cake. You just gotta dodge the uh, rocking horse. Or, uh, excuse me, rocking horse is. Ghost Baby doesn't like my commentary, apparently. So he's going to throw balls at us. Alright, let's see. Ah, here's the real ball. And I got hurt. Stupid. And while he's mocking you, you do this, and then... Die! Or whatever the die version is for, um... Uh, ghosts. Come on. Come on, you little... Ah, and he used a combo breaker on us. <sighs> that sucks. And... Oh, crap, he's pissed. Yes, now, uh, after you do that, and you will... I've never actually sucked him up in one full try, so... He's always gonna be able to do that whole bouncing thing he just did, like, at least once, I think. Um... Alright, yes, he's gonna- the speed of these increase, so be very careful if you're not, like, one who has very good reflexes. I highly recommend that you, what is it, just stand in the middle and then just dodge, and that one will always, like, go into two. The third wave he sends at you, it'll always be two, and you can always just dodge it by standing in the middle. Um, and there's the real ball that we need. Grab and throw! And... Hello? They, there we go. Jeez, poltergeist. What is it? Poltergeist didn't want to listen to me, and he combo breakered us again. Stop doing that! Ah. When are you two? Jeez. Uh, I just realized we're only... Wow, we only, like, lost, like, two health. This is... That's, that sucks. I mean, we don't have a hundred, but it's not like we're low on health. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, crap. Yes. Um, I don't think these can get any faster than they already are. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of that, because I don't really, uh... I don't really take too many tries to get rid of him. He 
now he's gonna send the balls at us. Balls of doom! Come on. And... Be gone! Come on. Come on, Ouija! Come on, resist! Resist the force! There we go. And we get our awesome face. Ta-da! With our two fingers up. All right, and look, we have a golden chest. Excellente. The Ouija shuffle. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, anyway, yes, like I said before, you can always open that up, and there should be a heart in there. There we go. Very nice. And without further ado, before we, um, you know, like, what is it? Let's get the chest. And by opening our chest, we get a very shiny pink key. Like I said, baby boy plus pink equals very, very wrong. But... Regardless of that, let's grab the key and get the epic face. And we get Egad apparently interrupting us again. Jeez. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with all with you all of a sudden, and I was a tad worried. But you, you seem a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho oh, ho, you guess you show that boss ghost who's bossed. Ah, uh, really bad joke. But then again, I don't do any better, do I? <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, good job, Luigi. I made it back in one piece. Yeah, what was gonna happen? The chandelier was gonna fall on us and kill us or something? Yeah. Whatever, uh, take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. So wait, you just magically knew that we were gonna show up and that we were gonna be able to capture all these ghosts so you could just turn them back into portraits? Anyway, uh, I call it the portif ghost portification -anizer? Uh, Wow, that is a really messed up word that really shouldn't exist. And this machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings, what I just said. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Oh yeah, that's a little foreshadowing for the future, but um, we'll get into that another time. Uh, how do you use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. My boy. Alright, but let's do as uh, Egad says. Put our Poltergeist into the thing, and look at that. Uh, little mini ghosts that look absolutely nothing like the ghosts we actually caught are right there. Amazing, isn't it? And you gotta love Luigi. He's like, hells yeah! <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna go see the process. Ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. That actually seems pretty logical when you think about it. And presto, we turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Alright, yes, Chauncey, Neville, and uh, Lydia. But um, as you, saw, as you saw, geez, I can't talk. Uh, as you saw, Chauncey was first. Whenever you get, get the boss ghost, it's always going to go first priority to all the other ghosts you caught. But every other ghost after that is going to be in chronological order. Anyway. Uh, well, we managed to turn those ghosts into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And there we go. We step out of the screen because we're just that amazing. And yes, like I said, Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. Down, down, down. I love their music. Alright, anyway, total of three ghosts! That's right, guys, we got three ghosts! Amazing. Well, three special ghosts, anyway, not counting the, you know, the orange, the pink ones, and there's our gold bar working its magic. A hundred thousand just for one of those. Now what you're saying, wait a minute, the other totals on all those other ones are way higher. Why am I impressed by one gold bar? Well, once they start totaling up all together in the future, trust me, they'll be worth a lot. And as you can see, our pearly pearls are very bright and shiny at the bottom, and they give us lots and lots of the monies. And it makes our grand total a pretty decent one starting off. I've gotten a lot higher in the past, but, you know, this is a Let's Play. And the Let's Play curse prevents me from doing 100%. Doesn't it? Anyway, yes, we're gonna save. And I think we're gonna end it off here. So next time on Luigi's Mansion, we're gonna head back to the mansion and we're gonna kick some more ass, catch some more ghosts, and probably run into some more problems. But anyway, disregarding that, I will see you guys later.